Yo, what's up? One thing I learned in these 55 years that I've been on this planet, going through this human existence, this human experience is that what's my ultimate, ultimate responsibility, right, is self-preservation, self-reliance, right? And underpinning and undergirding all of that is self-confidence and a belief in myself. That is the rock solid foundation upon which I build my life, or either it's the mud and the quicksand that I sink and ruin my life. What I've been teaching my son, my son turned 13 today. Since he was a little boy, man, I always taught him and talked to him about confidence in himself having self-confidence, believing in yourself. I said, Sean, always believe in yourself. Man, that is so important, man. I can't even begin to um, stress enough the how that either makes or mars our lives, right? And the one thing that's dope about it, right, is that nobody has, whether I have it or whether I don't, is totally up to me. Whether you have it or whether you don't is totally up to you, right? And I can make a decision. I cannot have it. And then I could wake up one day, I could be moving around, walking around, and just make a decision like, yo. I'm finna be confident, man. I'm gonna believe in myself. I'm gonna take chances. I'm gonna take risks. I'm gonna trust myself. I'm gonna have faith in me. And you could do the same thing. And it's total and without any catches. Nobody can, like no regulatory authority can say, well, you know, you only can have confidence on Tuesdays from 8 p.m. until 11.30 p.m., you know, I'm only going to allow you to have confidence during the month of October, the second week of October. Nobody can dictate dictate that to us, man. It's totally, totally up to us, man. Totally. And it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Um, I've been on both sides of the spectrum. I've been on both sides of the spectrum. I've been, I've lived my, I lived the, I lived the big part of my life with uh, no self-confidence, a lack of belief in myself, plagued with self-doubt, plagued with an inferiority complex. And then I live my life today looking at you in this camera and today is May the 24th, 2024 with supreme arrogance, supreme conceit, supreme confidence, supreme faith in myself, supreme be belief in my abilities, undergirded with humility and honesty and reality. You understand? You know, if you, if you can arrive at that point, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you just judging me on the words I just used and you're not there yet, you know, and I had two different existences. The existence that I had when I was struggling with my life, it was a living hell. It was horrible. And the life that I live today, just by having belief and confidence in myself, man, is totally, totally different, man. And, you know, I believe nothing is beyond my reach. Right, nothing, anything that another man done did, anything that another man done did, I know that I can do. I've always been that way. I've never been the jealous type. I've never been the envious type. I've always felt like, excuse me, what somebody else done did, small potatoes, I could do it too. You understand?
That's the way I get down. I got a good life though, man. I'm 55 years old. I got no health problems. I'm not on any type of prescription medication. I don't have any type of court cases other than a uh, child custody case, but no type of criminal court cases pending and in the balance. I'm not in jail. I'm not under arrest. I don't have erectile dysfunction. I still look good. I got knowledge of self. I know how to self-care, right? I know how to practice self-care on me. I got self-love, self-esteem, a high self-perception, uh, a big ego. I'm arrogant. I'm conceited. Um, I have a lot of self-confidence. I'm humil. I have. I'm humble, and I have humility, and I have respect. And I'm an honest man. Those are some good qualities, man. I persevere. I have fortitude, I have stamina, spiritually, mentally, and physically. Uh, and I have a tremendous, tremendous belief in myself. I don't believe that there's any man on this planet that is better than me. I don't believe that. Show them to me. Show them to me. So I got a good life. I don't drink. Alcohol, I don't drink beer, liquor, I don't smoke weed, I don't use drugs, I don't, you know, I've been clean from drugs and alcohol for 33 years. Um, I got out of prison in 2016, haven't been arrested, haven't caught no cases, don't want to catch no cases. And, um, you know, I got a beautiful, beautiful son, man. That is the best thing in the world, boy. Shout out to all the fathers out there, man. That's the best thing in the world, kid. Having a daughter, having a son, that's the best thing in the world. There's nothing better than that. And I got one of them, you know. Our daughters and our sons are our pyramids that we leave here when we pass on to the next plane of existence. Your daughter, your son, your sons and daughters, those are your pyramids that you leave here. Little Sean is my pyramid that I'm going to leave here when I pass on to the next level of consciousness. And if I have another child, then that'll, that'll be here, man. And that lets the world know that I was here, right? Our children lets everybody know that we was here in the physical form. Podcast was sold. Sean G. Peace.